How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today is a very exciting day as Torben Tuesday has returned and today we have a brand new Torben Tuesday video all about Series 6. Now if you don't know what Torben Tuesday is, Torben Tuesday is basically an image that we get given from Forza themselves and this image contains clues from them about what's in the next update. Series 6 is just around the corner, it's going to be announced within a couple of days actually, and we have been given our first Torben Tuesday of Forza Horizon 5, which contains clues for Series 6. We're going to have a look at the image, see what we can figure out, and see if we can just get a general idea of what's coming within Series 6. If you do enjoy this video guys, please do consider subscribing to the channel, we're going to cover every Torben Tuesday we get from here on out. Let's get into it. Now we actually already have one confirmed car for the next update, which isn't actually within the Torben Tuesday. We know this because Forza themselves, or Play Run Games, tweeted out basically promoting the Series 6 livestream. And if you look on the image, there's a new car on the image. They sort of teased us with that, and that is the Ford Mustang Mach E. 1400. This car is not in the game and we can very clearly see that it is in the thumbnail that they've shown us so that is the first car that we can confirm is coming within series 6, the Ford Mustang Mach-E 1400. Now on to the Torben Tuesday image. This is it. It's full of clues, full of numbers. Now I will say off the bat this Torben Tuesday is a quite a messy one. There's a lot to cover, a lot of just confusing bits so bear with me i'm going to try we're going to try to cover this as best as possible based on my opinions and all of your opinions as well through the twitter replies and all the forums we're going to have a look at everything we'll start off in the top left hand corner which appears to be three numbers which are 104 103 and 114 and they seem to be within a spider web because you can see a little spider dangling down there. Now you first thought maybe, are oh, we getting a spider vehicle coming to the game, AKA a convertible. A few people have had the idea of this being about the Abarth 124 Spider. Now they've come up with that because if you take the three numbers, 104, 103 and 114, if you make a sequence out of that and then extend it by one more, you get the number 124 which could very well mean the Abarth 124 Spider is returning to Horizon 5. Now this would mean that basically Fiat and Abarth are returning to the game and that would mean an entire manufacturer being added. And I personally feel like, and a few others feel like, if they are re-adding a manufacturer, they'd make a bit more big of a deal out of it than just this. So we'll have to see where that leads us, but no one else really had any idea about what these numbers mean, but Spider, Convertibles, I'm sure we can expect something to do with that. Moving along, we have some text which says the following. It says, first rule, grand opening, and then three slash four or three quarters, three divided by four, whatever you want to take it as. A few people have had different ideas about what this could mean. For example, first rule, question mark. It's, it's, it's a common known thing that Fight Club you know, the first rule about Fight Club is we don't talk about it. That's usually what the words first rule means towards about Fight Club. Now, what could Fight Club have anything to do with Forza Horizon 5 or Forza in general? Well, a few people have guessed that possibly Drift Club is something to do with this. This was a Horizon story, which isn't in Horizon 5. Could we be seeing a Drift Club story or Drift Club event, something coming to Horizon 5 to do with, you know, Drift Club? A few people have put this in the Twitter replies and actually received a response from Torben himself with a little googly eye emoji, you know what I mean? So maybe they're onto something, maybe we're going to see something Drift Club related. As for grand opening, not entirely sure what that could mean. Now as for the numbers, 3 dash floor, only one person's had an idea about this and I actually agree with it. Um, they said that could be a date, the 3rd of the 4th, the 3rd of April, which is only in a few weeks from now. Is there a grand opening happening on the 3rd of April? We'll have to wait and see as what this could be. I don't know, is that the start of series 6? Is it an event? Is it we don't know, is something happening on the 3rd of April? Certainly very possible. Moving on to the right hand side of the board, we're starting at the top, we have some kind of, you know, some kind of options. We can see here it says player one, then it says option one, option two, option three, option four, with what seems to be arrows to the left of it. Now I would guess, and many other people have guessed, that this is to do with the sort of the chat. This is to do with a quick chat, you know, where you can say something to another player while you're driving around, left on D-pad, right on D-pad, it all sort of makes sense. So could we be getting some new phrases or some new quick chats added to the game? What's interesting though is to the left it actually says player two, option one, two, three, and four. 
why is there two players? What does that exactly mean? Now, if we go a bit further down, we have even more numbers. We have 104, 103, 130, 130, and then R times 350. Now, a few people have actually seemed to have figured this out, ignoring the first four numbers and just focusing on the R times 350. We all know that the McLaren 620R is a vehicle that has been leaked um, very recently to be in the next update. Well, believe it or not, there were only 350 McLaren 620Rs ever made. So it says R times 350, meaning, you know, there's 350 of these Rs, and it definitely adds up with the fact that the McLaren 620R is coming in the next update because there's only 350 of them made. It all adds up. I'm sure you get the idea of it. A few people have had other ideas about what this R350 could mean. It might not mean the 620R, although it's looking very likely. Someone said maybe it's hinting towards the Lexus RX350. It does sort of look like RX350, so I guess that's a possibility. As for the numbers 104, 103, 103, 130, whatever, no one seems to have any ideas about that. Again, if you guys do, let us know in the comment section below. A bit further down, we have what seems to be some kind of square, but if you look at it, if you take it as a road, it could be some kind of, you know, it's not really round, but a roundabout. We see from the left, you see dotted lines go up and around the square and then exiting on the right. There's n this could be anything really. This just could just be nonsense on the board that he's added to throw us off. Now, just below that, we have even more numbers. We've got 104, 103, 114, 130, and 126. Again, no one really has any idea what these numbers mean. But if we look below that, we have some kind of progress bar in blue. We can see that the progress bar is about, I don't know, 30% complete. And then along the progress bar, there are certain icons and sort of you know, goals. We've got some kind of square face with some kind of moustache. A bit further along, it looks to be some kind of, it looks like a dog almost. And then next to that, a diamond. Now this could mean one of many things. It could mean that they are adding some new form of progression to the game that we have to, you know, progress through and unlock things as we go along. For example, a weird moustache man, a dog and a diamond. Few people have had theories about it being a new Secret Santa event. You may remember back in December, we had the Secret Santa event where we worked together as a community to unlock these rewards and upgrade this progress bar. A few people have had a few theories about what these icons could mean. The first one apparently looks like a bit like a monster and could be to do with the Ferrari 288 GTO Evolution, which has been found leaked within the files. Check out my leaked videos if you're interested in that. This car is known as a Group B Rally car, also known as a Rally Monster. Could that be what the monster icon's hinting towards? And then further along, the icon, which I thought was a dog, could also be a beast. Now there's another vehicle which has been found in the files, which is the Fiat 576 Beast of Turin. Could this be hinting towards that? This is just a big stretch. We're sort of covering all possibilities here. As for the diamond, no idea what that could mean. A bit to the left, we have some kind of square with question marks all over it. What does this mean? Is it a reward? Is it a treasure chest that we don't know what's inside? Some people are saying this is a reference to Mario Kart. You know, the sort of the square with a question mark on it. Is there going to be a Mario Kart crossover somewhere? Now, I did sort of skip over something there, and that is this section of the whiteboard here, which appears to be filters for the Horizon Open Racing. We all know that we have been waiting for filtering for the Horizon Open Racing. You want to be able to pick what cars you want to be racing in, you know, what kind of races you want to do, road racing, dirt racing, street racing, S1, S2, A. And what it's looking like here is they are telling us this feature is coming within the next update. A bit further to the left, we have more quick chats by the looks of it. We have a circle, which appears to be a map. You can see sort of your, your character driving around the road. And then to the right of that, we have three phrases which appear to say thanks, well done, and great job team. This is very obvious that these are probably just quick chat options. So again, that adds up with the other bit that we covered at the top right. We are going to be going to do some kind of quick chat additions, you know, along those lines. Up here, we have some kind of contraption. It looks like it might be two ramps up to a platform and there's a pole on each corner of the platform. Could these be checkpoints, event lab related maybe? Don't know exactly what the F means though. Someone spotted that there is an actual F, obviously, and this bit here apparently looks like an eight 
Could this be hinting towards the Ferrari F8 Tributo coming to the game? Sort of looks like an F and an 8. I think that one's a bit of a stretch though. And if we look to the left of that, we have some kind of, again, sort of looks like a progress bar or some kind of timeline. There's little blobs on it. Now, Kelpie over on GT Planet, you may have seen me pop him on screen a few times in this video. He actually had the idea that this is hinting towards new event lab rules sho then there's str which could mean start and then cir or ctr which could mean counter you know he's just trying to figure it out what these letters could mean and what they mean along this bar new event lab rules possibly as i said guys this is a bit of a messy torben tuesday there's a lot going on a lot of just random guesses out of the dark but what we can narrow down are the following things R350 is probably hinting towards the McLaren 620R as, as you may previously known this was leaked. Now the first thing that I'm noticing and I'm surprised a lot of you guys haven't noticed as well so far based on the replies I've seen. There doesn't really seem to be anything on this whiteboard which is to do with customs, tuners, you know, the, the whole topic of this update that we presumed was Horizon Customs and Tuners. We've done a few videos about this and if you go on Horizon 5 right now and go to the coming soon tab it literally says Horizon Customs and there are a load of customs vehicles within the files so people made very educated guesses that the next update is going to be Horizon Customs and Tuners or something like that. But there's nothing on this whiteboard that tells us anything about anything customs related, anything customization related or tuners related. As always, guys, make sure to let me know in the comments section below what you think about this week's Torben Tuesday. Your ideas, your guesses, we'll have to wait and see. As I said, tomorrow, I think it is, we're going to know what's in the update anyway. So, yeah, leave a like if you've enjoyed, everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content. And I'll see you all later.